Hi Scorpio, this is Deja Vu Tarot. I am Chris Mona and I'm here to give you guys a collective read. Just a collection of energies, just to check in. I did pull your card, Scorpio. I also pulled Jupiter. And Jupiter rules. I just went blank, sorry. Jupiter rules abundance and generosity, positivity, positively, positivity and miracles. All right, Scorpio. So, so far, so good. So, let's go ahead and jump into this. Once again, this is just a collection of energies. If you guys want to book a more personal reading, feel free to like the description link below. It goes to my website. You can book a reading, $50 for one hour. Money, career, relationships, just, you know, any questions you may have. Also, um, I do have my cash app in the description box as, box as well. If you guys like the reading and just want to donate, feel free to do so. I am taking donations at this time, okay? And overall, if you don't want to do that, just like and subscribe. Um, there's more videos to come, so feel free to just, you know, watch my channel. I'm okay with that as well, okay? Whatever floats your boat. All right, Scorpio, it's going to be a four-card spread. All right, let's get into it. Holy Spirit, give me four cards for Scorpio for the collective of energy. Three cards, please. For Scorpio. Give me one more card. Alright. Alright, so bottom of the deck is the death card. Death card talks about transformation. Ending something old and beginning of new. Okay, so, yeah, some of you guys are going through a transformation, trying to balance justice, okay? So, justice can mean a legal system, too. Maybe some of you guys are going through court, and you're putting it into court. Could be a divorce, could be a legal contract. Um, also, just making a change, a transition, a divorce. Um, you know, but death is, it's not a bad thing. It, it, it just means that you're ending something old and beginning a new start, okay? Take your situation how it goes. Alright, so we have the Nine of Pentacles. Nine of Pentacles talk about a single person that's abundant, okay? As you look, she has a little hawk on her arm. Like, she seems happy. She got a Pentacles. Everything seems good. So that's good for your first card out. So some of you guys are single and abundant. I'm very happy. Um, yeah, doing pretty good, Scorpio. Page of Pentacles is the next card. Page of Pentacles talk about an offer. Some type of offer of good news, possibly. Um, you know, also talks about finances. Maybe some of you guys need to watch your finances. Some of you guys will be having some good news coming in regarding your finances. Okay, and we did have legal contract or documents, something legal. Okay, so yeah, and then you got the Ace of Pentacles right after that. So some finances, guys, will be. It's looking good. The finances, um, maybe some court situation you may have to pay out a little bit. Okay, that may hurt your finances. Okay, maybe make go down to a page. You know, could be divorced because we have the single card here too. So definitely, I I feel that someone is ending. Something old could be a relationship, could be some, a job, could be a lot of things. You take your situation how it goes, but you're ending it to start a new beginning. We have the Ten of Wands in reverse. Ten of Wands talk about burdens, okay? Now, upright, I would have said, okay, you're still stressing, you have a lot of burdens going on, but it came out in reverse, so I feel like you're releasing a lot of burdens, okay? Putting an end to something, something that burdened you, okay? Could be a job, career, love, relationships, whatever it is, okay? We're going to get into it. We're going to clarify a little bit more. But the Ten of Wands in reverse is good. That means you ha are releasing. You're putting an end to something old and starting something new. As you can see, the sunrise is coming up in the back, okay? 
Um, let's see. Knight of Swords. Knight of Swords talk about a fast, harsh communication. Also talks about making thinking fast, making fast decisions without not thinking first or taking it slow or analyzing and seeing what's going on, okay? This came out in reverse. So I feel like you're slowing down, okay? Not overthinking stuff too fast, not rushing into things. Okay, you're taking your time trying to figure something out, okay? Which is good. Could be releasing the Knight of Swords, an air sign, it, uh, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, okay? Releasing that burden. Maybe you had a flighty person in your life that rushed in and just, you know, took you around and then went back out, okay? And so you're releasing that burden. You're being single now. You're putting something to an end, okay? That's what I got. All right, let's clarify. Holy Spirit, why don't you show me the Nine of Pentacles? Why is the Nine of Pentacles here? Give me, like, two cards on this. One, three. Thank you. Okay, so, yeah. Temperance. Temperance talk about balance. Okay, as you see, the two cups is alchemizing. So, I feel like the Holy Spirit has something to do with this, definitely. Balancing you out. Maybe you get more spiritual in your life. Maybe you're having, you know, the Spirit is helping you balance your life in the Nine of Pentacles, blessing you, getting getting yourself more in tune with the Holy Spirit. Queen of Wands, talk about taking action, being that boss lady, okay? Being an entrepreneur, getting into your project, something that you're passionate about. Also talks about a beautiful woman, someone that's gorgeous, they don't take no mess, okay? Good. Four of Swords, talk about healing. Yeah, because you heal, Scorpio. You heal, you done bossed up, you, you're single now, you done put stuff to an end. You may have went through a spiritual transition, a spiritual change, death of an ego. Okay, you're healing now, you're getting through it, you're beautiful, you're becoming the Queen of Wands. You're doing what you're supposed to do, Scorpio, okay? Good job. Alright, possibly after a tower event, a shocking change, something that happened that was very traumatizing in your life, but it transitioned you, okay? Some shocking end that may have happened, but you're healing from it, okay? Alright, Spirit, give me Page of Pentacles. Why is the Page of Pentacles here? Two more. King of Wands for flew out. So, yes, I say it definitely was a King of Wands in your life. King of Wands talk about taking action, taking leadership. We, now we have the King of Queen of Wands. So, definitely this have to be, some of y'all may once had a twin flame soul partnership, okay? I have to say that because we have the pair. King of Queen of Wands is the twin flame soulmate pair. Okay, but the King of Wands also talk about taking action. They're a very handsome man as well. Okay, now, it could be man or woman. It's just energy. Y'all take y'all situation how it resonates. But this talk about a passionate male, good looking, okay. But I always say that wine be on fire, okay. So, I feel like they could have been definitely sexual. Okay, very frisky. Alright, um, very passionate, okay. Alright, we have the chariot. The chariot talks about moving on, moving forward, taking that action to move forward. Possibly from this King of Wands energy. Very sexual, passionate energy, okay? Uh, Page of Pentacles. Page of Pentacles talks about some type of offer, okay? Maybe this King of Wands was trying to offer something, but it left you with a page. A page is not, you know, it's just not mature. It's very not mature. And with the King of Wands, that's exactly what it is. They're not mature as of yet. They have graduated from a page, to from the Knight to the King. However, you know, they still, you know, they still could be sexual. They still can go in and out. That's not a definite that they will be 100% loyal, okay? Which is why you have the Chariot. Again, this is a twin flame. Maybe you guys are moving on, okay? But we have the Nine of Swords here. So, I feel like this King of Wands, Scorpio, left you in a very anxious, anxiety type of way. Especially in your mind. Okay. Um, if they only gave you page offer, that was a little or nothing. Breadcrumb, right? 
page of Pentacles also talk about it can talk about good news or good offers right but we have the four swords for you healing so this person this queen of wands here took you through the ringer okay but it also with twin flames when you meet up and you guys do not get along you transform you help each other transform so maybe he came into your life giving you a page of pinnacles some small offer here you know and it left you in that nine of swords energy okay which is why you maybe moved on okay when you, maybe why you move forward it left you in that Nine of Swords. Nine of Swords is obsessive thinking, anxiety, you can't sleep at night, you know, all of that. And I feel like you moved forward from that. Yeah, because you released the burden. Death card. You put it into this Page of Pentacles, this breadcrumb. Okay, so let's see. Why is the Ten of Okay. Yeah, Tower came out again. Tower came out again. So, yes, I I think that's what it was. This person was a king of wands. Yeah, bread crumbing you. And you released that. You just moved forward. It maybe was a shock to this person. You could have been in an argument and you just said the hell we it. Okay? Or, good lord, might have came down and brought a tower. Okay? That's what I say too as well. With a tower in your life... You just released it. You couldn't do it no more. You move forward. Okay? You're healing from it now. You're single. You're balancing yourself out. You're becoming a boss. You're beautiful. You moved on from this. What is the Knight of Swords in reverse, Spirit? Give us the Knight of Swords in reverse. Why is the Knight of Swords here? Oh. Yeah. So this person is trying to come back around. Yeah. Page of Cups. Another page. So, now, here they come. Now, they, they want to come and offer their Knight of Swords in reverse. So, they dropped the flightiness. So, they still a knight, though. Now, they, now they want to apologize. Okay. And after you moved on. After some type of shocking event. We're going to clarify this tower. But after you move forward, they may want to communicate their feelings now. They're no longer going back and forth after you've ended it. They transform. Okay, now they want to apologize. But I feel like it's just, you know, it's just sex. It's just sex. Yeah, they want to take a leap and maybe it could be a, a new start. It could. Yeah, the Empress at the bottom of the deck. They want a new start. But now, wands equal sex, though. They definitely equal sex. So, just be mindful. You know. Because they, they still come in with the page. They come in with the page. But that's how twin flame soulmate relationships kind of work, right? They run. They do you wrong. Then when you heal, you become single, you live in your life, you done moved on, you done transformed, right? You put an end, you released, and here they come back. Want to apologize. Want a new start. Want to come with that ride, okay? What's the tower spirit? What happened? King of Cups. They holding back their feelings? Third party. High Priest. So, if you was a High Priest Scorpio, this person possibly was holding back this their feelings. They were holding back their feelings. They possibly had third parties. Yeah, because the Five of Swords, playing my games. And the Tower hit. You released that crap. You released it. You didn't want to do it no more. Yeah, High Priestess. You're the High Priestess. You knew... Something was going on. You knew they was playing mind games. Yeah, heartbreak. I can't make this up. Yeah, playing mind games. Okay? And they broke your heart. Yeah. Now they want to come back for a new start. See the wand? They want to come back for a new start. They want to be happy now. So what's the advice, Mary? Let's give you some advice with this. What should Scorpio do? Let 
let's see sun part so it may be it may be something good scorpio let's see five of pentacles somebody feeling left out in the cold the hair fine You possibly was married with them. Okay. Judgment, Ten of Pentacles. So they decided to do a commitment now. Yeah, they want to marry now. They, they want to commit. They possibly felt you left them out in the cold. Maybe you were married to this person. Or maybe you wanted some type of higher level commitment. And this person was holding back the feelings. King of Cups. Yeah. They wasn't trying to give you that. Yeah, they wanted to be with third parties. And you move forward. Yeah. So, judgment now for the advice is the hair fight and the ten of pentacles judgment. Six of swords, five of pentacles. So, I feel like... Give me one second before I say anything. Because you do got the sun card. What's the judgment? Okay, so the advice is saying Eight of Pentacles in reverse. So it's like the judgment is like decide not to invest in this. Okay, it seems like he's still juggling. Two of Pentacles talk about juggling. Maybe you don't have a job right now. He don't have finances. Okay, hence the Ten of Pentacles because that talks about finances too, but it also talks about commitment. But I feel like if this Eight of Pentacles in reverse and Two of Pentacles, that doesn't mean you don't have a job. You don't have any money. Probably why they coming back too. So just be mindful of that. Yeah, because we got the Five of Pentacles. That's lack of money too. So we got the Five of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles in reverse, meaning they don't want to. They don't have a job. They're not trying to put no work into it. They don't have any money. Two of Pentacles and Ten of Pentacles. Maybe you do. So that's why they're coming back. Spirits ain't move forward. Six of swords. Move on to common waters. Move on to common waters. What's the hair font though? Because the hair font is here. What's the hair font? King of swords. The world. Yeah. Yeah. In this. Cycles are complete. Yeah, the star. King of Pentacles. Yeah, he just materialistic. King of Pentacles is a materialistic kind of person. Okay. Ace of Swords. That's clarity. Could be ego too. They want victory. I mean, King of Swords in the world card with the hair font. That's like ending. Ending. Tell the truth for end this. Cut it out. Because, yeah, they, they're juggling. They don't have any money at this point. Maybe maybe they don't want, really want to put no work into it. Maybe Spirit is telling you to tell the truth and tell them that you don't want to invest in this anymore. Because it seems like they're going to come back. They definitely going to come back and try to apologize. But the overall energy, this is what we do not see, is that you're going to end this. Yeah, you got two ending cards. The world card and the death. Cycles are completed. And yeah, spirit is saying ending. This person is still juggling. You release the burdens. You're single and happy. He's still coming with the page and a night. It's not nothing that's going to be mature for you enough to take this person back, Scorpio. Okay, that's what I got. Alright, Scorpio. So make sure to like and subscribe. And... If this resonated, great. If it did not, just come back for more videos, okay? Deja Vu Tarot. Namaste.